Hey guys, Joanna coming in with another battle replay here. We have a 3v3 siege on the settlement of Alexandria. Welcome back to the land of sieges. Let's start dealing here with Swaby, one of the attacking armies who is being commanded by Kind Canuck. He is bringing from what we can see six units of round shield swordsmen, two units of warden as spears, one of those being his general. He does have two units of berserkers, two units of swordmasters, two bloodsworn, and he does have two units of horse runners, which is like a skirmisher javelin unit, I guess. I've never seen them before. Moving over here to his first ally, we do have Galatia, who is being commanded by Rampa. Rampa is bringing with him eight units of Galatian swordsmen, four legionnaires, one unit of levy freemen, three Syrian archers, one ballista, a Cappadocian cavalry, and his generals, a unit of the noble horse. Then the final attacking army on the battlefield, we do have Egypt, who's being commanded by Mucho. Mucho is bringing a stranger kind of army comp. He is actually bringing with him seven units of Sobek cultists, three Galatian swordsmen, two Thorax pikemen, three units of Cretan archers, one Egyptian archer, a ballista, and his general is a unit of the Royal Peltasts. Getting in onto the defender side, we will start off here with Massilla, who's being commanded by the Pizza Maker. He is bringing with him seven units of Celtic warriors, seven axe warriors, three units of Gallic hunters, and his general is a unit of the Massilian cavalry way back over there by that back gate. His first ally here is Gete, being commanded by Ulfer. He is bringing with him four units of mercenary axe warriors, three spear warriors, three units of noble swords, one of those being his general. He also has one unit of Falksmen, three heavy bowmen, and one unit of the Dacian heavy skirmishers. And the final defending army on the battlefield, we do have Boei, who is being commanded by Dan. Dan is bringing with him five units of sword followers, four Celtic warriors, three units of Osworn, one of those being his general, and he does also have four units of the Celtic bowmen. So, all right, let's see. Swaby is bringing his towers up. Is there any real damage done? Let's see. Actually, yeah, this unit of Bloodsworn. I did see some catapult fire, or the ballista fire coming down. 114 kills. Look at the death. Just fuck, Jesus Christ, there's a line of dead coming up behind this ramp. Hopefully they make it all the way to the gate before they break, but I don't think that's going to happen. The Archer Tower is now starting to have a little bit of a field day on them as well. Down to 49 men. Second unit of Bloodsworn is pressing the tower up, but I don't know if he can actually come in here. He might be able to. Not sure. Maybe he's stopping this one, so if this unit breaks, he can never mind. Dan is sending out a unit of Celtic warriors through the gate. They're going to come over here and just finish this last unit of blood sworn. Uh, the first unit of blood sworn off should be pretty quick for this unit. I don't think they're going to be around. Very, oh yeah, just drop. Look at that, 42 to 37. But ooh, the other unit of blood sworn is going to come off. Got a bit of a javelin volley in onto these Celtic warriors, starting to lose their combat a little bit. Down 10 men so far, but the first unit is wavering. Second unit is still full at 160. Swing around over here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Galatia has knocked a wall breach down. This is good. Mercenary Axe Warriors making their way over. Going to get in the way of that breach. Let's see what Egypt is up to. He's still bringing all of his towers up. Looks like he's going to have a little bit of a traffic jam. Mm, I'd move up the rest of my army here as well. Just get them all up there. There's really no point in keeping them all the way back here. I mean, he's got one unit of archers up here by themselves. If the defenders actually did have cavalry, that unit would be definitely dead. Completely, completely annihilated. Let's go back over here. This fighting is still going on. Actually, oh, Dan sent out a unit of sword followers as well to help the Celtic warriors take out this unit of Bloodsworn. And you can see it still says melee combat is even, but there is a decent amount of sword followers still making their way out of the gate. So I don't think this Bloodsworn, yeah, is starting to, unit is starting to lose get on back down over on this side actually some of the round shield swordsmen taking on some celtic warriors over here another unit of the round shield swordsmen coming down off this staircase dan is sending a unit of his celtic warriors over along with his celtic bowmen probably going to try and get some shots in the back on those round shield swordsmen there we do have combat completely underway up on the walls here though round shield swordsmen taking on some more of these celtics oh no sword followers on the walls and make sure that I'm giving you guys all of the correct information from what I can. A lot of the Celtic Bowmen here. Looks like two units of Celtic Bowmen starting to unleash their arrows. Trying to get into these. Oh, God, look at these guys. Some of these guys got shot in the back. Look at that guy. He's got two arrows in his arm. How are you not dead? How are you not dead? 
His blood is spattering all over this guy. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Ooh, 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 ooh. I see... Oop, oop, oop. Wrong button there, Joe. See a lot of archer fire. Yeah, three units of the Syrians have moved up for Galatia. They are targeting down a unit of the Dacian Heavy Bowmen. So far, they've lost eight men there. They're going to pull back. More mercenary axe warriors over there. We did get a unit of spear warriors to press up onto the breach point here. Just hails and hails. So Egypt has finally moved up the rest of his army. He's actually bringing his ballista up a little bit closer as well. Did he lose anything off this ballista? Nope, still has all four of them. 26 kills, but Egypt is moving the bulk of his reinforcements all as one section. Don't really know how good of an idea that is. Uh, Galatia, guys got to start pressing in. I mean, this volley's coming in on the side by, by the Syrians. Fantastic. Really great job there, but you need to start pressing in through this gap. Really need to start moving forward. 15 minutes, 29 seconds left of the battle replay, guys. Um, if you guys are enjoying the battle replay, please make sure to hit that like button. Feel free to drop a comment down below. And also continue subscribing to the channel. Feel free to share the content around as well. So here we go. We got some sword masters coming up onto a semi-depleted unit of sword followers. coming out what is that another unit of celtic warriors making their way out they're gonna charge in onto the side of these sword masters i do hear some rumbling of cavalry here comes the noble horse general for galatia they're gonna make their way in here try and help these sword masters out which i don't think the sword yet yeah, sword masters really didn't need the help just yet they actually when they charged in they knocked a lot of those swords down celtic warriors starting to get some javelins off 44 kills for them so far sword masters down 13 men so far but the Swordmasters now are starting to finally lose that bit of combat. The Cappadocian Cavalry has moved over as well. Galatia has pressed in one unit of his Galatian swords over here. I want to see what the Sobek cultists are up to. Oh, they just got all off their towers. Oh. Okay. Uh, so it looks like Egypt is going to come over here and just try and pile on the, uh, on the, on the breach point here. Some two units of Galatian swords, one from Galatia, one from Egypt, making their way in, taking on some of these axe warriors. But look at what that is allowing. With Egypt pulling away from this, all of these units from Massilla are wide open. He can just shift units over as needed and, and help Gete out with the defense over here. Let's see what's going on with Boei, how he is faring. Actually, his one unit of the Celtic Warriors were successful. Actually, no, both units of his Celtic Warriors were successful. 42 kills for that unit. This unit of the Celtic Bowmen here up to 170 kills. Wow, great job. Uh, some more Celtic Warriors there. Actually, they are volleying down onto the Wooden as Spears. The Wooden as Spear General so close to the wall. Might want to back him off. We have some Berserkers coming up, though. It's another unit of Swordmasters. Where's the other unit of Berserkers? Where did the other unit of Berserkers go? He did have two. Where did they go? Actually, wait, hold on. He's got some more ranged here as well. Horse Runners. Horse Runners. Oh, he brought two units of the Longbow Hunters as well. Okay. Not a bad idea. Oh, there's the other unit of Berserkers, right? No? Is that still the same? That's still the same one. I don't know where the other unit went. Are they dead already? Maybe. Maybe they are dead because this is not them. That's a unit of Swordmasters. Cappadocian Cavalry pulling away. Losing nine men so far. Looks like we're getting a little... Wow, look at that. Egypt now shoving in a bunch of his units of the Sobek Coltes. I don't think that these... Oh, I think that wasn't a good shot. I don't think that was a good shot. I think that might have hit some of these Galatian swordsmen. Maybe some of the Sobek, Sobek Coltes in the back. I want to stop doing that. But yeah, Egypt, I mean, your, your archers could absolutely be used right now. Get them closer up there and have them start volleying into this mess of defenders. I mean, flanking shots, people. Flanking shots. He could be hammering both of these units right there. Silla sending in a unit of his Celtic warriors to continue helping this defense. Some more spear warriors making their way in for Gete.
I mean, don't get me wrong, the uh, the headdress there of the Solbeck Cultist probably would 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 strike a little bit of fear into the any anybody, attackers or defenders, that would see just a, 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 a huge blob of of crocodile or alligator head wearing beasts. Like <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about that. Let's swing back over here, see how Bowie Eye is faring. Look at this. Swaby's just hanging out. Piecemealing up a unit at a time. Not using these towers here. Celtic Warriors out in the front, finishing off a unit of Swordmasters. Only 119 kills for those Swordmasters, and they are gone. But oh, man. Love it. Cavalry charges coming in. Cappadocian and the Noble Horse General coming in with a crushing blow in onto these Celtic Warriors there. Love cavalry charges. I don't think I'm alone in that. Absolutely love, love, love cavalry charges. Well, let's see, yeah, those uh, Celtic Warriors starting to lose, but we're starting to see some more Archer Fire. Unit of Celtic Bowmen over here getting some volleys up and over. See with the Cappadocia down to 64. Noble Horse is just starting to lose, man. He's down to 75. Syrian Archers on this side. 35 kills, 25 kills, 41 kills. There's a lot that they could be firing at right now. There really is a lot that they could be using better. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a second. Are they knocking down this wall? That would be huge. If the attackers... Oh, get that unit out of there. Mercenary Axe Warriors, get them back. But look at that break. And actually, the pikemen of... Both units of Thorax pikemen were up in that breach. Okay, so here we go. Business is open. Let's go, attackers. Let's go. You have a gigantic breach. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't send the ballista in first. No, Ballista's gonna die. Are any of these units? Yeah, here they come. Mercenary Celtic Warriors gonna come up here and just slaughter this crew. Slaughter this crew. I mean, the pikes could absolutely be used right now. Absolutely be used. Some more Galatian swords making their way forward. Does not look like Swaby's gonna be successful on this side. I mean, he's got some sword masters in there, but they only have 25 kills. Taking on a unit of sword followers and also being volleyed in the back by some Celtic bowmen there. Dropping down, down to 78 men left. This sword follower unit, 124. Says that the sword that the uh, sword followers are losing currently, but I think I'm pretty sure that's gonna turn around for the sword followers there. So Bowie I has defended his walls aside of what's still out here. Let's swing back around over and see what Egypt and Galatia are doing since they decided to group up. Let's see what they're able to do. More Galatian swordsmen making their way through. Where are those legionnaires? The legionnaires still so far back, they need to come forward. Gotta get infantry up here, man. Always, guys, new players, newer players, whatever. Again, like I say, a lot of the time, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just giving my opinions on things, but... You have to make sure that you always have infantry nearby waiting to push in. Like the Galatian swords here, perfect. Levy Freeman, that's fine. You know, the Thorax Pikeman there, that's great also. But these Legionnaires right there, these four units of Legionnaires, if they pressed up, they could probably break this wide open. More than likely, they would slaughter these Mercenary Axe Warriors, especially if they just, all four units just piled in. They would, they would... They would get run over, and the attackers would be able to have a better chance of getting inside, but here's what I said a few minutes back there. With Egypt pulling away, I mean, Gete has lost a lot of troops, but with with Egypt pulling over to the side there, that is allowing Massilla to move everything over here now to just continue helping with the defense. Let's see what Swaby is doing. He's actually pulling away. So, yeah. Bowie I has been completely, completely successful in holding his side of the wall. A lot of archer fire coming over, getting into these longbow hunters, probably something into the horse runners as well. Look at that unit. 67 men left, zero kills, and they are just getting dropped. Dropped. Unbelievable. Wooden has Spear General now starting to take some shots from the arrow towers down to 158. He hasn't lost a lot, but these Celtic Bowmen, 109 kills. 
Even the ballista there with 114. I'm pretty sure I said that earlier. Legionnaires, let's go. Push. Thorax Pikemen here. Royal Peltas Generals. More of the Sopek. Oh, I'm sorry. Galician Swordsmen coming in by themselves. Here we go. Levy Freeman charging in. This is the opportunity right here. Those Legionnaires, two or three of them need to press in right now. Right now. Five minutes, 55 seconds left. Some archer fire now coming from some of these Cretan archers. Getting some volleys up onto these Dacian Heavy Bowmen, which are out of ammunition. So again, guys, I say this in a lot of my replays. Zoom in. Look and see what you're firing at. Don't just blind fire. Don't say, oh, I see a unit arranged over there and start firing at them because they have 149 kills. They're out of ammunition. So they're... It's kind of a waste of, of range fire, archer fire on a unit that's out of ammo. He could... These Cretan archers could be plowing into these no, noble swords right here. Just wrecking them. Hopefully these... Oh my god, the pikes are getting wrecked. Is that the Gallic Hunters? Yep, yeah, Gallic Hunters. Somebody actually... Devi, Dacian Heavy Bowman still back over there. Bowie Eye's not really moving. He doesn't need to. I don't really think he needs to. Well, he's bringing his O Sworn around. And a unit of sword followers. Two, two units of sword... Three units of sword followers. Making their way around over here, but... I just don't think with with Egypt, with Egypt just stopping here. I mean, he didn't even land. What did he land? One unit, one tower, maybe two. So out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight towers that he brought, he landed two, and then he just chose to give up and come around. Pretty rough, pretty rough. But again, like I do in my replays, let's just zoom in. You guys can watch some more of the fighting. Some more of the murdering. Hopefully we'll see some decapitations, maybe some limbing, stuff like that. Is that the Legionnaires now coming in? Fine, okay. Galatian Legionnaires now coming in. They are taking on some noble swords there and a unit of Celtic warriors. Galatian Legionnaires. Oh, wait, they're about to be sandwiched. Got some Celtic warriors now making their way forward. Jesus Christ. That was a massive volley of javelins. Good God. There we go. Another unit of the Celtic Warriors there charging in for Massilia. Massilla? Massilla? Massilia? Massilia? I think it's Massilia. The other one is Massacely, so I'm pretty sure it's Massilia. Three minutes, 23 seconds left. Bowie Eye is actually charging out. Sallying out his Osworn here. Cappadocian Cavalry and the general unit for Galatia are running away. We have a bit of a form-up outside here. Again, these Legionnaires could absolutely be used inside. I mean, they have cavalry out here. They have cavalry outside. The cavalry could easily just keep these Osworn deterred. Make your targets! Make your targets! Very rough. Very, very rough. Unit of Syrian archers there. Four. Galatia getting some volleys in. And the attackers are making a little bit of pressure now. But like I said, it's the Galatian Legionnaires that are doing it. Two units of Legionnaires. One at 75 kills. The other one here with 60. Actually, the Noble Sword General is pretty beaten up. Losing decisively against these Galatian Legionnaires. See? That's what I'm saying. Along with the Royal Peltas General, this unit of Sobek Coltes... A better unified front for the attackers would have probably made this attack go a lot better. A lot better. But here comes some more Spear Warriors for Gete now making their way around. And they're probably going to get into these Cretan Archers who only, unfortunately, 37 kills. This unit 116, so not, not a bad showing from them. Spear Warriors are going to definitely chase them away, though. It's bad the, the defenders don't. Well, they do. His cavalry is all the way back over there, though. That cavalry could have been huge if we just brought him out the gate right now. Probably could have slaughtered all these archers. And probably could have taken out whatever's still left as far as this ballista crew is concerned. Doesn't look like he's got any shots loaded though. Swing back over here now. Osworn getting into these legionnaires. So let's get a little bit closer down there. Like that one. That's a good shot. Let's 
see what is going on. Yeah, they're coming around. Oh. Where did those Cretans go? Did they break? Yep. No, that wasn't them. Where'd they go? They must have died. They must have died or they charged them in. Not entirely sure, but 50 seconds left, guys. You're pretty... Pretty much can tell what's going to happen. Here comes the Oathsworn General. And yeah, I think the attackers pretty much just gave up right there. Where's the Galatian General? He's still out there, but he's losing bad too. Taking a lot of losses down to 48 men. Another huge volley coming in. The Cappadocian Cavalry down to 21. 58 kills for them. Noble Horse General almost 100 kills. Not too bad. 25 seconds left though. Yeah, those Oathsworn just came in and slaughtered all those archers. 141 kills. They're still killing more of them as they're trying to run away. And there you go. 13 seconds left. That's going to be it, guys. That is going to be it. So, like I said, a little bit more unification on the attack probably would have been a little bit better. Might have gone a little bit better there for the attackers. But close victory for the defenders. Fun replay. I think it was pretty, uh, you know, you guys can learn some stuff about it, honestly. Newer players or, or brand new players, whatever. I think you guys can learn some... some uh, some tips and everything off of that replay. Uh, but let's start off with Dan who brought Bowie out. He's actually the guy that sent the replay in. So Dan from the Hungry Wolves. Dan the man. Thank you very much. He's general 143 kills. Archer's fantastic day. 170, 124, 256, 195. Celtic Warriors 252, 143, 112. His other two units of OS1 there. One unit with 149 kills. His sword followers 180, 149, 146, 85. Getting into Gete here with Ulfer, his general 95 kills, his other two units, Noble Swords, 152, 199. His Axe Warriors, 162, 219, 176, 122. Again, fantastic. Mercenary Axe Warriors are really, really good units there for Gete. Falksman, 131 kills, his Spear Warriors, not a whole lot. Top there was 89. Getting into his Archers, though, 169, 155, 109. Even his heavy skirmishes there, almost 100 kills. Very well done there. And then we have Pizza Maker. His general did not be, it wasn't involved at all, but his Gallics, 104, 102, 209. Great job again. Axe Warriors, 23. Look at the units he had that weren't even involved in combat. Three, pretty much, I mean, this guy, 43 kills, didn't lose anybody. Doesn't look like they lost anybody here. Another unit. So one, two, three, four, five, six units of Axe Warriors that barely even saw combat at all. Uh, Celtic Warriors, 139, 56, 79. So, okay, that is the end of the defenders. Let's get into the attackers. Kind of, kind Canuck, his general, 95 kills. Swordmasters, 122. Round Shield Swordsman, top kill there was 46, looks to be. Berserkers, unfortunately, neither one of them getting, getting the chance to start going. Even the Bloodsworn, unfortunately, only 50 kills for the top unit there. And his Longbow Hunters, 43. The Horse Runners, 26. Rampa with Galatia, his general almost 100 kills, 99. Cappadocian Cavalry, 58. Sir, Syrian Archers, again, just guys got to look around for good targets. Flanking, shooting shooting in on the flanks or the backs of defending units or attacking, whatever. Shooting in onto the, the backs and flanks of units will serve wonders, will prove wonders. But yeah, his Syrian Archers, unfortunately, not having a great day. Legionnaires, 107, 101. Galatian Swords, 118, uh, 85. And we get into Mucho here with Egypt, which I think Egypt pulling over and joining up with Galatia, I think that was uh, I think that was a bad move. I think that was a bad move. Again, I don't know if Mucho is a newer player or or new player or whatever it was. Maybe he just had a bad day. But his Royal Peltice General, 94 kills. His Ballista, 104. Cretans, though, 119. One unit with 119. Galatian Swords, not a whole lot of kills. And... The Sobek Cultist Army build, these guys are like supporting units. These are like Berserkers and, and stuff like that. They're Naked Swords, Berserkers, stuff like that. They're, they're the ones that will come in after the front line to be able to start cutting up and do some serious damage. Unfortunately, though, it does look like his top kill, Sobek Cultist, was 73. And then both of his units of Thorax Pikemen won top there with 45. But all right, guys, that's going to be the end of the battle replay. Again, Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. Feel free to drop a comment down below. Also, continue subscribing to the channel. Over 3,000 subscribers now. And guys, thank you. I appreciate every single one of you. And of course, share the content around. But alright guys, thanks very much. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one.